I've been thinking about this idea of who is the empowered woman and a lot of who I can compare myself to are people in the world, people on social media, other women who are my age and how they are in their lives. But truly I should be, and I started doing, comparing myself to who I was 10 years ago, who I was 15 years ago, who I was 20 years ago. And have I worked on myself? Have I changed? It's been a, it's been my life's journey. It's been my life's goal to continue to work on myself, to continue, continuing to grow, to not just be a better person, but be a better person for the world, for my family, for the people in my life, for my community. And no matter what community I'm living in, I've lived in quite a few different communities and I always want to contribute. So am I an empowered woman? Thinking about younger self, yeah. I feel like I am more, why? What's that definition for me? Well, I'm someone who has not only taken charge of my health, but have learned quite a bit about not just myself, but how women's bodies work. And not just through studying in a book, but studying women in general. How they are with themselves, how they are with each other, how I am with them, how the plants that I work with work with them. Not just using my brain, but using my intuition. How does that empower me? Because I'm in control of my health. I'm in control of my life and I can be through small changes. If I am feeling so low, if I am feeling so much and I don't have the money to go out, I don't have the opportunity to go to class, dance class or, or take a class online or even afford the internet, I can always retreat to my thoughts. I can always retreat to sitting and being with myself. Looking for clues in nature, looking for clues, looking to nature even as a landscape for answers of where I should go, what I should do stepping outside, looking out front of my window in the morning with a question, noticing the breeze, noticing the animals or lack thereof, the clouds in the sky or how a plant moves when I'm near it. Mirroring what I wanna hear or connection. Does that make me empowered? I think taking charge does. Feeling good about making the changes in your life that create self-awareness and in that self-love with, without judgment seeing yourself for who you are and loving you anyway loving yourself anyway and then I think about all the people in the world who are suffering right now I used to feel really bad about having even a meal because I know others don't and one day I decided to start eating for them eating for the people who can't, celebrating life for the ones who cannot. And then I dedicate all of that nourishment to those children that I think about that don't have any. 
and I pass it and give it to them. I want to have a fulfilling life. I want, just like anyone else, to have money, have a nice car, have a good place to live, and not everyone has that. And I'll, I feel guilty about having it sometimes. But I think being empowered means doing it for them and getting to a place where I have enough to also give. Having it my goal, my goal here on this planet, my goal here in this community, making it okay to be okay and then sharing it with others which I do see a lot of people doing in social media outlets and truly that's one of the only ways that I do connect with others besides I get to see people every day in my store and I feel very lucky for that that I get to connect every day with different people and help them in person it's selfishly fulfilling am I empowered in that as a woman I think so it feels good to not only have the knowledge but have the courage to follow my intuition and at this point in my life it feels good to stand up to that, to stand up to following my intuition and trusting it. And I've learned in the past that if I don't, things don't go as good as they could. Take a deep breath. Feel into your heart and do a good deed for someone today.